Well, thank you so much for your company this morning. Port Mugaloo is the second edition in the Elastic Island Adventure series for kids, filled with fascinating characters and described as an action adventure set in the South Pacific. The stories have been optioned for movie development. Author Karen McMillan joins us now, along with her husband's granddaughter, 10-year-old Miller, who has been helping her with some of the story ideas. Welcome to you both. It is lovely to have you in the studio. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs> uh, and very exciting about these books too. Now, Miller, you are just 10 years old, but this is not your first time on TV, is it? Um, a few, couple of years ago, you interviewed the Treehouse author, Andy Griffiths. How was that? Are you a big fan of his as well? Yes, I definitely am, but not as much as Karen's books. <laughs> oh, that is the perfect oh. answer. Well, yeah. Miller. <laughs> so, on to the, the books, Karen. You've authored 14 books. Tell us a bit about yourself and, and you know, your work. Well, I'm a book geek, basically. Yeah. Uh, I feel so fortunate that I've had 14 books published. So I feel, you know, it's just so grateful about that. I haven't really stuck to one thing. I've done novels. I've done non-fiction. I've, I've written about love. I've written about eating disorders. I've written a couple of books about cancer. And now I'm writing children's books. Yeah, it's quite diverse, your, Too your, diverse. your back <laughs> reading, that's for sure. Uh, so what made you decide to write Elastic Island Adventures? Uh, because of Miller, actually. Yeah. Miller's been saying to me for quite a long time I should be writing some children's books. Yeah. And there's a bit of a story behind this. I got to just before Christmas last year, and I thought, I'm actually going to have a year off of writing. I'm not going to do anything. And then I thought, hang on a minute, I should be doing something with Miller. Something fun, fun family project. We can work on a children's book together. She can help me with it. I think before I know it, I've got a book publishing deal and the movie rights are optioned. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Now, the first book in this series was Jewel Lagoon. We've got Port Mugaloo as a second in your fantasy action adventure series. Tell us about the series. Well, the series is about four children that discover an elastic island. So this elastic island is run by a gentleman called Mr Jolly Bowler. Mm -hmm. And it's a scheduled service. It's kind of bonkers, but you, you're here in Browns Bay and boom, then you're in a tropical location. It's very unsafe, very fast yes. though, isn't it? So the children can get there very quickly. So that's my vehicle for the, getting them to tropical destinations. Mm -hmm. And do, shall we say a bit about Port Mugaloo? Um, yes, okay. definitely. So in Port Mugaloo, uh, my four children arrive and they're wanting to have just a really nice safe time because the first book they got into lots of trouble and danger. <laughs> yes. So uh, they're only there a short amount of time when Ethan, one of the main characters, falls into a pond and becomes invisible. So of course that's immediately a problem because you can't go back home to mum and dad being invisible, no. can you? No. No. Yeah. So they Although discover. That could be quite fun, but yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he thinks that originally actually, but then um, the reality sets in. It's actually not that much fun being invisible, not mm. being seen. So then uh, we discovered that King Shiny is the only person who can help the children. And Miller actually named King Shiny. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. So Miller, what is your involvement with the books? What's your input into the books? Well, I name them like King Shiny and I, I research and just like say some of the characteristics like in the Quokka family and Second book, yeah. Margaloo. We have so a lot of conversations and I'm always yes. asking her lots of questions, so she's it's asked, quite collaborative. Yeah, she just asked me for the third book some questions, <laughs> oh. actually. Wow. Do you have any ideas about where you would like to see the story go as well? Um, well, I actually have a really big idea, um, <laughs> but I may she's not been, be able to She's been very kind it. and she's letting me kind of write it and she's helping. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I have a really big idea. Really big, and I just want it really to be in a book. <laughs> really do. Well, you've come to the right place. Yeah. That is what we in the business call a tease. Yes. <laughs> do you have a favourite character? I have. How many did I say? I say four. Four. Well, tell us about them. So the first one is Emma, and then Blong, and Salmon, and Mrs. Quokka. So why I like Emma is because she's basically my like me apart from the part that she's shy. Um, Salmon because he's super friendly and beautiful and kind. Blong because I've met him before, I've patted him, he's so Blong cute. Blong is our cat oh, <laughs> in real okay. life, so I've written my cat into the book. That's <laughs> why and he's, um, he likes to boogie. <laughs> in the book, see over their picture. Oh, that sounds so cool. I love what you've done, and I can't wait to see what's happening with book three. But I must ask Karen, how on earth do you go and get your book opera, uh, sort of option for a movie, and what's the next step for that, and when do we see it on screen? I'm not sure when we'll see it on screen, but I've spoken to the movie producer. They're really excited. They're at the initial stages of script development and getting the funding. But they're, they're talking big budgets, and I'm like, oh, okay. So how did they <laughs> find it though? Did you send it to them? I mean, how does uh, it work? It came through um, through the book publisher. So as soon as they saw it, they said we want to option the movie rights. Wow. 
<laughs> yeah, so it honestly just happened from me saying I'm not going to do any writing to deadline, deadline, deadline and movie and it's like, oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> All pretty crazy, yeah. Yes. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. Hey, I'm curious to know, when, you know, you were going to take time off and suddenly a book happened, do you plan what you're going to write or do things just, because you do have a diverse range of what you've written. Do yeah, you, I'm not very sensible. Do they just I? come along? Does it sort of waft past you? I think I've probably got a queue of ideas and um, when I was thinking about Elastic Islands to do with Miller, I kind of already had a little bit of an idea sitting there already. So, and I like the idea of um, writing for this age range too, because they're, they're really responsive. I mean, the, the reaction I'm getting from children at the moment is really, really touching. But they write to me emails via my website, and the emails are just are so amazing, and they're so unfiltered, you know, so they're just, they're a great joy to read. So who is the age range? 8 to 12, or maybe 7 to 12. Oh, fantastic. Of course, Miller is right smack bang in the middle of yeah, that. Yeah, she is. Well, <laughs> exciting stuff, and good luck with the movie. And looking forward, you should try and get a part in that, Miller. And we're looking forward to seeing book number three as well. Thank you both, Miller and Karen, for coming in today. Thank you. Thank now, the you. second instalment of the Elastic Island Adventure Box series for kids is called Port Mugaloo, and it is available now from good bookstores or online.